Hey everybody, this is the Fairy Vibrant Makeup Channel and I'm going to show you today on how to use the Inglot Duraline Mixing Medium. So what it is exactly is a waterless kind of like liquid that can transform any kind of powder. Um, I use it for my eyeshadows and sometimes I can use it for like a blush that's like a powder form, a loose powder form. I do have one that's from uh, Unique Cosmetics. It was a sample given to me um, and I use it since it's such an intense red color. I use it for that especially like I'll mix them together to make a liquid red eyeliner. I just like using this to transform my shadows into a colored liner because I don't have time to be having a bunch of eyeliners sitting around everywhere. I mean I have what I have on hand is like those NYX uh, lip of the day to use as a liquid liner but sometimes I just kind of want to transform some unique shades and this is where this comes in. So I will do a demonstration on how I use this product. So the price of this is $11 and you can find it at Macy's online. Um, I got mine from the Inglot website and this is about, let's see, 0.30 fluid ounces and it is hyperallergenic and it is also um, waterless and water resistant. So it will lock in the powders and it won't smudge or go anywhere once it dries down. Now um, this is what the packaging looks like. This is what the packaging looks like. It's a clear bottle and it has a dropper inside. So there it is and it has this little button on the top that when you push it, it releases the product. So that's what I use to kind of um, measure how much I want to kind of make that custom liner color. As you can see, my eyes are bare. I don't have any eye product on right now. Um, I'm just going to do my usual bases. I'll put a transition shade and then I'll put, um, I'll show you how I transform a, a shadow, powder shadow into a liquid liner. So let's get started. So this is what I use. I use just a the lid of my Rimmel Stay Mat, just kind of like my little palette. And what I'll do is I'll take this and then take a custom shadow and then I'll mix them together. So for the shadows, I'm going to be using my electric palette because I do use this extensively and I kind of don't want to, I mean, you need to make this into powder since it is pressed powder. You need to kind of loosen it up so you do have to scrape it and I will demonstrate how I do that. But I wanted to use this because it has very vivid colors and I wanted to use some of the colors um, to make my eyeliner. Alright, so I did scrape it off um, with just a sterile kind of metal tool and I put it onto the pan. As you can see, this is the powder and this is the shade Savage. And then what I'll do is I will take a little bit of the product in the Inglot Duraline and not too much. I didn't want to put too much, but I'll just drip this into the pan. So I have the Duraline in there and then I have the actual powder and then what I'll do is just take my liner brush and mix them together to create my custom liner shade. So now that I have my custom liner shade, now I'm going to start lining my eyes and I'm going to start from the inner corner because I want it to be a two-tone type of eyeliner look and I'll be using my Wet n Wild uh, liner brush. Now I took the shade Chaos and I mixed the two together again and I scraped off the powder and put it into this dish and then mixed it with one drop of my Duraline.
All right, so there is the finished look. I know my wings aren't exactly even, but what I do have to do, because it does dry down pretty quickly, is that I will have to work the two colors to make it fade into each other. So what I'll do is I'll just do the pink, and then when I did the blue, I brought it down, and then I just started filling it in, and then I went back while the blue was still wet, got a little bit of the pink and just mixed it in to make the purplish kind of color right here. And then what I'll do is that I will take more pink and kind of mix it through, but do work with it as quickly as possible so that you can get the colors to kind of blend if you are doing a double um, colored wing. So now I'm going to finish up my eyes. I know I said I was going to put a transition shape. I kind of like it plain right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara and maybe I'll do a little bit of uh, something on my waterline. I'm not quite sure. I think I might just keep it this way. It just depends on how I'm feeling about this look. All right, so for mascara, I'm going to use the Perversion from Urban Decay Mascara. I like it because between wearing uh, false lashes, I will put this on because it has conditioners in it. And it tends to kind of heal up your, um, whoops, I made a mess there. Ends up kind of conditioning your lashes in between uh, fake lashes and not wearing fake lashes. Alright, so that's kind of my demonstration on how I use the Inglot Duraline um, Mixing Medium. I do recommend that you kind of uh, have like a dish to mix your stuff in. Usually between doing this, I kind of uh, clean this out, make sure it's nice and clean when I use it next time. Um, I do love this product. It does transform my shadows into a real pretty, easy to do type of liner. So, I mean, this is super easy and super achievable. So that's what I like and it does dry down and it does not smudge. See that? No smudging. No smudging at all. So that's what I like about the product. So yeah, that's my video. I know it's really short, really simple. I wanted to show you this because I really am enjoying it a lot. And you have seen it in my video from Friday. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And that one was a little bit more, I think I mixed a little bit too much of the Inglot Duraline. So I was kind of testing it out. So make sure that you don't do too much, maybe like a drop or two into your shadows to make it dry down quicker and to make it a little bit more vibrant. So if you do use too much, you will end up having a watery type of uh, washed out color. Now I kind of am curious to see what else this can do. So let me know in the comments down below what other videos you'd like to see using this guy. I'm kind of feeling like a little bit of like a watercolor vibe coming on, like using more of this product in the shadows to make it more watery and kind of sheer to make a watercolor type of look. I don't know, it's just what I'm thinking. But let me know in the comments down below what you think. Inglot is one of those products that I've always overlooked because I never really uh, paid attention to stuff like that. But once I saw it um, being used for transforming your powders to liquid, I kind of researched it and made sure that I knew exactly what I was getting if I do order the product because I don't really like online shopping that much. So, um, I mean, $11 can't be wrong. I mean, this is such a good uh, size and you don't need much, so you'll be using it quite a bit. Um, that's what I like about this product. It's affordable and it's really, really nice to kind of double and saves you money in the long run because you're not getting... Um, liquid liners that are certain colors so you're not having a bunch of liquid liners to make like a rainbow or something if you have a lot of colors in your eyeshadow collection you can use it and you can transform unique shades you can make a copper shade if you have any copper shadows uh, you can make a really cool um i think some really cool art on your eyes that's what i like about it is that as a painter i love having uh different types of um, items to use on my paintings and it can double as something else on my art as well. Does that make sense? As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I do enjoy doing videos again. Like I said, I do try my hardest to get everything out. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really want to start kind of branching out into different types of videos, uh, using products 
that I have, you know, gotten, um, purchased myself actually, uh, or just kind of testing out other uses for products. So if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments down below. I will be glad to try and get all those up for you guys. I really want to stay committed to YouTube and making sure that my uh, channel stays active. Um, if I do go quiet, know that it's probably for a very good reason or it's just I don't have time because I am a mom first and a wife first. So I really have my priorities set to that. But I do work, know that I do work, and I do have some family issues that I am going through. Yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!